Hello guys and welcome back to another video of me playing Gone Home. So where we left off last time was in this little kind of room in these uh, sort of from the basement. Little secret passage that goes up to the guest room up there. So this looks like where Sam and Lonnie would hang out. Um, or used to hang out. So let's have a look around here then. See what we've got. So Bratmobile poster pictures here so costumes skeletons devils cheerleaders from the smells like teen spirit video one girl dressed as jackie kennedy <laughs> smells like teen spirit video nice that's so we saw kurt cobain earlier on the post uh magazine but yeah it's always a nice good reference the psycho house girl the coolest stuff about being the psycho house girl cool thing number one everybody in the hall thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past, because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral. <laughs> it's in peripheral vision. Okay. That's a lie to mum and dad's situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real, awesome, and everybody was moving together like one huge tide, tide of sound. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, you know, like a typical sort of, you know, music show, live gig or festival, which, yeah, are always good. So what's that? Oh, it's potato chips <laughs> pizza box empty it's yeah so weird because this all seems recent like they've been here not you know maybe the day before but it's like some of the, these articles are like a year ago i guess when they built like the fort in the living room there's another sort of fort there but i don't know if it's the same one but mm. good fella uh appreciate the time if you put into writing your letter it's shown initiatives as well have written so this is to Sam, yeah, of course. Mr. Soto, which is Lonnie. Yeah. He's a friend of yours. She did face school property. Okay. There we go. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit strange. So, obviously, from what we know so far, that Lonnie was planning on going to military, uh, to the army, sorry, um, which I'm guessing she possibly went to. Was that? It looked like the lights were flashing then. Interesting. So, we've got a comic book, but there doesn't seem to be anything. Swimming outlaws. Uh, okay, so is this a wet? Oh, yeah. Open panel. And, okay, this looks new. Um, where the hell's this? Ah, it's behind that locked door. Right. Uh, from So this should open to the... Yes. Okay. So now we're back through here. And we can explore this area. So let's have a look. Read letter. Um. Okay, not interested. Yeah, because it's all about what's it's it's just what's happened to everyone. You know, Sam seems to be the main one here. Uh, that's obviously communicating. Um, you know, she's leaving his journals around. Is it is it going to build up to something? And what's that on the floor? I'll have a look in a sec. Uh, what's this? How long? Sorry, mum was such a. Uh, she's hardly ever around. She knows you but Okay. Let me bring up the mum thing like that. My mum is a psycho Christian. Okay. And her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Ah, okay, that's a bit disturbing. No. <laughs> yeah. So she definitely wouldn't want to live with her mum. 
Okay. Okay, so it's getting a bit... Yeah, it's all... It's all, it's all still a bit confusing, but I'm sure it's all going to make sense in the end. But, you know, we're, it's about having stub what we got. Uh, Earth, Wind and Fire. Ticket stub. Why is that down there? Not sure why that was... Hmm. That was bizarre. So, right, so we've got more places to explore. Let's try here then. So we've got a closet case up there don't seem to be oh what's that read note this school was the coolest thing i found in mexico and was like three bucks american uh i love it merry christmas miss you treasure it always so what is skull ah that's that one i'm just gonna quickly have a look oh, what's that out there uh Guardian angels up above bless this house with lots of luck. It's weird. Lights keep kind of going strange every time you see something relating to kind of like religion or God. Like when we found that cross, the light went out. When I just looked at that, that just flickered. It went dark. Uh, what was it we found? It was this here. Skull. So, yeah, the sugar skull. Echo of Mexico. I guess that's made in Mexico. So, okay, there doesn't seem to be anything significant about it. Just referenced as a present that uh, was sent. So let's head anything around here. So where are we? Are? We're in the dining room. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so what we've got, anything, mum's purse. Oh, that thunder. That thunder. Sometimes it catches me off guard. And it actually sends, like, chills down my spine when I hear it. And that clicking. What is it? Forestry and education. Take care of our forests. Ooh, what's that there? Hi, Jan. I got two tickets for EWF on Thursday. Yeah, so... So that leaves us with an extra ticket that I thought you might be interested in more than... Okay. Rich again. So, the mum kept getting... It keeps something to do with her and this rich guy. Under the bed there was a, something to do with a book and a little note saying, glad it's in safe hands, rich. So, I'm just interested. Is that, is that a different room? Or is this... Yeah, it's a different room, isn't it? And... Okay, I'm sure we'll make our way there then. So, examine magazine. Revolution. Disciplinary. This afternoon, your mother and I are put in. You were grounded for the rest of the month. Okay. An interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since like Shira. <laughs> Shira. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, "Is there something we should know about you and Lonnie?" Okay. And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. Okay, so yeah, so obviously the parents found out, but they, like from the scene, to find out that she was, uh, she liked girls, but, uh, you know, weren't uh, too, like you said, they didn't really get angry, saying they just like, just kept saying it's in denial, saying it's a phase, so it's a bit strange. I reckon, I reckon the Sam's ran away, um, 
or you know she's either run away or something's happened to her but yeah it's a uh... hmm it's a crumpled manuscript so I'm guessing that's what's that noise I can hear something that sounds really weird I think it's coming from this room here which seems to be like the kitchen or something like that so let's have a look in then um, what is that is it just a refrigerator I mean, yeah it sounds like it's just, that's a lot of noise right, what we got in here then? so let's read notes some schedule working at Crown Burgum Road uh, okay Mr. and Mrs. Uh, okay, that's an invitation. So, what's in the fridge? Well, I don't think we need the milk, do we? Cola. Salad dressing, grab milk. Ketchup. You don't need ketchup in the fridge. Just put it in the cupboard, it's fine. Cheese, <laughs> relish, jam, banana. See, look, this, that's it. If this is this is so weird because you've got things like in the fridge and whatnot. And if it was like if it's been hap ages ago, then um, you expect things like that to have gone mouldy by now. So this is what's. Hang on. Well, the time's not been set on the microwave. Is there anything in the microwave? They've not set the time on it. Or the power went off. I don't know why I'm looking in here, really, but... Uh, you never know, there could be things hidden... Hidden in the dishwasher. Okay, won't shut. Oh, it's because I put a plate there, I think. Okay, so let's just. There doesn't seem to be much so far in here, but let's just have a quick kind of. Yeah, I think it looks like they're all practically empty, so. It's weird. Um, so we've got. A tape player there. They've got quite a lot of kind of tape players in the house, which is strange. Uh, pack of cards. Ah, we've got another cassette, so let's put that on. Let's have a look. Anything else? Yeah, what's that? Bratmobiles. Special. This is your saviour again. Hmm... A lot of these books around, but you know, if the dad was a writer, then you're gonna expect him to have his books around or boxes of books and things. Nothing in there. So, what's on the kitchen table? Samantha and Dan Daniel <laughs> were in the woods one day. Uh, so, that's a story. From Daniel. Daniel finally came over to get his game. Uh, okay. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong. And I was thinking about how we used to be friends. How much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school. And Dad. And Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. Oh. For some reason, I almost believed him. Almost believed him. Hmm. Okay, so... Because it was saying earlier about this guy, Daniel, she used to hang around with him and whatever. And it was a bit... Like, it was quite weird and stuff like that. But she only used to play... Because like, he had Nintendo. So, has it got something to do with him? You know, it, it's all a bit strange. So what we've got over here, any letters? We've got something on here. 
So, Karaj is in a new position. Um, okay. Oh. Right, so what's... Rick's wedding. Katie comes home this month. Call exact dates. I can't remember the date of um, when this happened. So, uh, is this during? Are, are the parents actually away because of the um, anniversary trip? I wonder if that's the case. Rick's wedding. Hmm, that might be why there's no parents around. Um, what's in here then? So this is the garage. So, yeah, let's check in here then. See what we can find. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary. We were camping in the, uh, sorry, in the kitchen is still. Talk please while we're gone. Okay. So, it looks like, yeah, this is what it sounds like. Then. The parents have gone away and Sam was at home and then... Something's happened from there. Potentially. Uh, living town. We'll have to run out the whole house while gone. Yeah. So we should. <laughs> it's never changed. <laughs> Fair enough. Sam. Crown Burger. Ask me about clown combos. <laughs> That's a bit strange. Um, okay, so there doesn't seem to be much in here. Let's have a wander just quickly in here to see if we can see anything. Dear Miss Green, my first look. Uh, what's fun? Okay. Cast okay. into prior. Again. Yeah, there's lots of these books around, so you know, does that have some meaning? I'm not sure. Right, let's. Um, so it looks, doesn't seem to be much in here except for obviously a few journal entries and things like that. So let's head down this way and see what we can find. It's all getting a bit creepy. It's like I don't know. We've not had anything majorly scary or jumpy at this point, so I'm I'm kind of I guess I'm getting a bit more comfortable with it. Um, Maybe that's the plan. Maybe something's going to happen. Jump out. Uh, so these are just postcards from me. Crumpled note behind here. Lonnie okay. had a going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. I don't know what comes next. And I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. <laughs> oh. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Okay. Hmm, what's... yeah. So I don't know, because obviously this Lonnie was going away anyway, so I should run off with her, but... I don't know, it just seems to be it just seems to be more than that. Something seems to go Oh, we've got a note inside here. I wish I knew how to explain it better. The army is this thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad's army friends are like family. Uh I've always known it was there. No. Maybe someday. So I think college. Okay, so yeah, a letter from Lonnie obviously trying to kind of explain it all. So, 
Ooh, all right, so we're in this area here. So let's have a quick scout around. Um, I kind of want to just check this door. Oh, examine map. World uh, under stairs. Secret, secret door. Uh, June 5. Final preparations are complete. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. Then we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that in her arms. In the morning, I woke up and I was finally alone. Okay. Accidental humans, no one. Uh, okay, so let's. So it looks like. There's a secret. Yeah, there's this kind of secret door under the stairs. So let's head up there and see. What's going on? Um. Uh, where are we? Are we? Oh yeah, sorry, I was getting a bit confused with which direction we're going. So it is, yeah. So it looks like it's going to be here then. Oh, flick. That looked a bit weird then. Something just. It's just a shadow, I think. But oh, it creeped me out a bit. Uh, so I'm guessing it's here. Open panel. Oh, so let's just have a little peek. Ah. Oh. Okay, right, this is interesting, but yeah, we found this table here with a pentagram on it, and yeah, this doesn't look good, so let's have a look what we've got sort of thing. Possession and exorcism, interacting with the supernatural, and releasing unwanted spirits, so, ooh, okay, ah, we've got the attic key, right, brilliant. So let's listen to this. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. Okay. And I'm in the attic. It almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. Okay, I'm getting a little bit like hmm, suspicious of what's actually up in that attic. So what we've got here then? So we've got the ch obviously the chalk that was here. We've got a name tag. What's Oscar Mason's Pharmacy? Okay, oh, and that's the Uncle Oscar. So. It's all a bit strange. I don't. Okay, so why were they doing that? Hmm. Okay, so it looks like the place to go now is up to the attic. So I'm going to have a quick look at the map just to make sure we've not missed anything as far as we can sort of tell. Um. I've opened all this kind of secret things down a floor. Floor. Yeah, so everything 
we've checked out everything so right time to go to the attic then <laughs> i'm a little bit i don't I don't, I don't know what we're going to expect. I mean, it might it might not be anything in there. Uh, I mean, it was locked, so if anyone was in there, they had to come down from it to lock it and then put the key somewhere. So let's uh, let's go this, this way, isn't it? Yeah. Just a little bit creepy, though. Okay, right, so up. Into the attic. I'm just getting a little bit creeped out. I'm just kind of peering around. <laughs> I just don't. I'm just hoping nothing jumps out on me or anything like that. <laughs> so this is clearly where Sam used to hang out, basically. So diary, Sam. Stay strong. I love you, Lonnie. Oh my God, Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic, in Lonnie and my old spot, and. I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me. And us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. <laughs> Salem. <laughs> she said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. Ah. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Okay, so does that explain where Sam has gone then? She's, she's gone to meet her, and is that the answer phone message of the the girl uh, saying, "Please be there"? Because she said, "Yeah, it got to the answer phone, didn't it?" Um, I wonder if it's that then. Hmm. No. Right. Okay. But it's all still creepy about the whole uncle psycho house. Read letters to Katie. Okay. Katie, I'm mm. so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back that you'll understand why I had to can tell so we'll just skip that yeah so that's the end of it then guys <laughs> and we got a show food because we went home okay so it was all just uncovering what happened really um for from what we could tell the parents had just gone away and then the sister uh, sam had just ran off basically and uh Okay, right, so that was an interesting So I, I actually really enjoyed that, to be honest, uh, playing it through. It got so, caught kind of really creepy at times. I was expecting possible jump scares on there, but, uh, you know, we didn't get them. So, <laughs> right, so I uh, so hope you enjoyed this uh, little series of uh, me playing Gone Home, and we figured out, you know, basically what had happened after we got home. Seemed like everyone had disappeared, um, essentially just unexpectedly, but... You know, we kind of figured out what had happened. So, um, right, guys. So, hope again, hopefully you enjoyed this. Please do like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and would like to see uh, more from me. But uh, for now, guys, I will see you all later. Bye-bye.